Hi guys, so I have a story for you today. Where all the wild things are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another. And his mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. And he was sent to bed without eating anything. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew and grew and grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max, and he sailed off through night and day, and in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars, and gnashed their terrible teeth, and rolled their terrible eyes, and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, BE STILL! and tamed them with a magic trick by staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. And they made him king of all wild things. And now, Max cried, let the wild rumpus begin. We can assume this is what a rumpus looks like. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. And then all around, from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat, so he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. The end. That book was one of my favorites from my childhood. I've loved reading Where the Wild Things Are. And we were going through a bunch of our old books at my house and we stumbled upon a bunch of my old books from when I was a little kid and I saw that and I, it just made me smile. So I thought I would share that with you. So let me know what your favorite childhood book was, either as a comment or a video response, reading us the story because I love reading children's books. They're just so full of magic and wonder and innocence and they just have to put a smile on your face. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you all had a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!